Hey, good morning, everyone. Hope y'all are all doing well. Uh, welcome back to the channel, or if you're new, welcome to the channel. Um, just starting off, guys, those who, who have made comments on some of my videos I posted, I really appreciate it. I, I enjoy actually going through the comments and replying and having banter back and forth. That's why I'm doing this, because it's fun to me, and, and woodworking and tools is something that I love. So that out of the way, guys, I kind of wanted to do something just a little bit different today. Um, I generally talk about Festool, and you guys probably think I'm some crazy fanboy, but I, I love woodworking, so I love to find companies that, that produce and manufacture tools that help me build furniture that I am proud of. And with that, I want to introduce, or you, you guys might already know about it, but woodpeckers. Now, hold up. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I'm not the wood whisperer. Um, I'm not saying I wouldn't want to be sponsored by them because they've gotten a lot of my money. But uh, these, I've bought every single one of these tools on my own dime. But I want to share how good they are if you guys have never heard of woodpeckers. So what they are basically is a, they're a U.S.-based company and they, they, they build, you know, layout tools, measuring, marking tools um, to the highest standard. So... I'm technically, my, my full-time job, I'm in the aeronautical uh, industry, and our specs that we have to go by are, you know, so, 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 so thin. And these guys build their squares and their 90-degree squares and their, their rules, their marking rules, basically to the same specs that the aeronautical industry has to, has to abide by. So they are probably the most precise if not the most precise company out there, they can they can build these these type of tools. So uh, let me step aside here. So basically, all the, I mean, I've got some triangles, some you know, some uh, different size squares, a T saddle, some bevel gauges, T squares, your standard rules, um, and I'm going to obviously show you guys more up close and personal of these. But you know, I just wanted to to kind of let you guys be aware of this company in case you're, you know, if you're using a tape measure for everything, you're missing out. Um, I, I just can't, can't convey how good this company is. So let me take the camera. I'm going to take you through what I have, what I consider the tools that I use the most from Woodpeckers. Uh, this isn't all of them. I have spent some money on some things that I probably didn't need that I don't really use that much from them, but these are what I use the most. And I'm going to kind of try to walk you through each one be as quickly as I can. But I find when I talk about something that I really like, I tend to, to talk a lot. So anyway, let's go through them. Okay, so here's an overview of, of the tools that I picked out that I wanted to show you guys. Um, I'm going to end up probably taking a few of these and doing a little bit of a deeper dive here in just a little bit. I'm not going to hit on every one of them because it would take forever. But, you know, just a, just a quick glimpse of what, what I use a lot of. So here's your 18-inch your square, your 12-inch uh, your square. This is what Beckers calls it the 1281. Um, it's probably their their most I would say popular tool. Um, your standard 12 inch triangle. We've got uh, bevel gauge. One of my favorites, the saddle T square. You got another. Uh, they call this a boat builder's gauge. Um, kind of try to do this w with one hand here. Um, it's essentially another bevel gauge, but it doesn't lock. It's just kind of it's it's tight enough to where it stays where you put the angle at. I use this a lot for, for finding angles and miter corners and, and whatnot, but you got your combination square here, a little mini square. This was actually a free gift with a, another item that I purchased from them. Um, and I use this all the time for, for saw blade setups, making sure everything's square to the table, 90 degree square. So I use that a lot. Uh, this is a little, little rule that, that they, came up with that helps you find the center line mainly of three quarter inch stock so that's pretty cool i might go over that uh the 641 square i use probably this the most out of any of my squares it's just a little six inch square then we've got our uh let's see 12 inch t square we've got our 24 inch t square got the delve square this is a one-time tool from them this thing's I, I amazing i use this all the time uh i believe they call these the um the 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 paolini it's a, a, a collaboration between a, a really popular woodworker and woodpeckers uh i i'm probably brutalizing his name but the paolini pocket rule i got two of them one in stainless one in there anodized aluminum 
And then their rules, the rules are, are amazing. I've got a couple of different sizes here. Um, so this is just a real quick overview of what I've got. So I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna pull a couple out that I use the most of. Um, and if you guys see anything here that I don't touch on in more depth, let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll either re, you know reply back or, or hell, we can even make another video and go uh, more in detail over something if, if you see it that I don't touch on. So uh, here we go, guys. All right, so uh, to be honest, it was kind of hard to pick five tools to go over, but these are the five that I've chosen, probably the five that I actually use the most, um, and ones that I kind of wanted to go into a little bit deeper with you guys in case you're interested. Um, there's some good good design features of all these that I've picked out, so I'm just gonna start with the basic, your 12-inch rule. Um, so these are all built out of a single piece of billet aluminum. So these are, you know, extremely heavy duty. And, you know, the fit and finish on these, on every single one of these tools is top notch. You know, you're not going to have any kind of blemishes on these when you, when you get them, you know, if you order them. But so for all the rules, you know, obviously these come in multiple sizes, 12 inch, 24 inch, 32 inch, 42 inch. Um, <clears throat> And they do come in metric as well. This is, you know, standard imperial, but you've got your standard 12 inch scale here. And then if you flip it over, you've got your um, center scale. So you got your zero in the center. So you can, you know, find your center, however you, you, you see fit. Um, and I don't know if you guys can tell, but the edges come, come down. So when you're, when you're marking on your board, it's easy to mark exactly where you want to put your mark. You know, it's, you don't get that parallax effect. So if you lay this on the board, you can get your, your, your pencil lead right here on the edge, right where you need to put your mark. So you're not guessing, you know, with like a standard thicker rule, it's kind of hard to tell where that line is. So that's a really good feature of these rules. Um, you also have your, your finger divot, so you can move it, you know, easier. It doesn't get stuck. And you can buy accessories for these rules. And I have one of these I have on right here. This is called the, uh, the Woodpecker's Hook Stop. So what this does is, is it allows you to put it right up against the edge of your workpiece like this. And you know that you're registering perfectly the end of the, the, end of the board. So you know that's exactly, you know, if you're trying to measure two inches, you know that is exactly two inches from the edge. You know, a lot of times if you're trying to do rule uh, measure it like this, you kind of got to put your finger here and make sure that this this rule is right up against the edge. And there could be some difference. Um, so this hook stop eliminates that. This is an accessory. There is another accessory that you can get that works on all rules, and this is called the rule stop. So what you have to do here is you simply just put it over the rule like this, and you can tighten this thing down to wherever you you want to mark so it, it, it effectively turns the rule into a marking gauge so you can put it on the edge of your piece here if you know if you let's take for example if you want to measure you know two inches from the board you, you put your stop at two inches and you know you can put your your line here and go all the way down um, it's just real handy to have this thing too so I, I, I have both I use both um, you know can't go wrong these are great. Next one is probably my most used one out of all of the woodpeckers, and this is the saddle T-square. So basically what this this helps you do is mark the, the end of the board, mark the edge of the board. So if you're trying, if you've got a line, let's say right there, and you need to, to wrap this line around, you just line up that rule right there on the line, and it's got the saddle okay so there you can make your perfect line and then even if you need to you know follow it around you simply line up the saddle just like that so you've got a perfectly drawn line all equidistant from the edge using the saddle t-square and these come milled with thousands of holes not thousands but uh, uh, holes where you can put your pencil lid in it at any increment in 30 seconds of an inch from the edge so if you need an inch and a half you put your your pencil an inch and a half and you you know take it and, and draw your line 
inch and three quarters, same thing, you know, you may put it, your, your pencil at inch and three quarters, draw your line. It's, it's the possible that they're endless how well, the measurements that you can do. Now, this is only six inch. They make them in 12 inch and they make them in three inch. Um, I just went for the middle, middle of the road here, but, and again, this has the same contoured edges that come down so you can get your pencil lead right on the, right on the, on the mark. So you're not ever going to be guessing, but I probably use this one more than anything else. And let's see. And then you have your T square. This is the smaller one. This is the 12 inch T square. I have a 24 inch T square, but you know, my opinion, every shop needs a good T square. And I use these all the time for laying out my line when I'm using my track saw, when I'm cutting down sheet goods. So, you know, I'll put the, the T on the, on the edge of the board and I'll mark, you know, say if I want to do eight inches, I find the eight inch hole and I get my lead and I just run my, if my lead worked. So you've got, you know, you've got a perfect eight inch scribe line from the edge of your piece to eight inches. And obviously, you know, again, these have all the holes milled out in the center for, for um, measurements up through 30 seconds of an inch up to 12 inches on this particular one. Again, they, they make these in, in 24 inches as well. And, and again, before I forget, guys, every single one of these woodpecker's tools is guaranteed to be one one thousandth of an inch accurate. And if they're not, you send them back and they fix it for you. But again, I, I use this all the time, especially again, you know, marking lines where I want to run a, if I got a four by eight sheet of plywood, I take this square and I put it on the edge. And if I'm making a 10 inch, you know, cut, uh, I just, you know, 10 inches and I'll run that thing all the way down my four by eight and I get a perfect line down the whole thing. So I use this all the time and you can see it's got that lip right there that sits perfectly right on the edge of your workpiece. So it's not gonna, it's not gonna, you know, move around on you because of that, that, that lip right there. So highly recommend a T square, a good T square like this one, this particular one is, is, is I love it. So highly recommend. And then the next one, this was my first woodpecker's tool. This is the 641 or six inch square. You know, you can't, you can't go wrong with a square. These things are, are so useful in so many ways, you know, squaring up. Uh, I found this size works good for drawer boxes. I put it inside to make sure all my corners are square. Um, I also use it, you know, if I'm, if I'm making like base cabinets, I'll, I'll put it down and I'll make sure that the, the vertical pieces of my cabinet are square to the base or, you know, the shelves are square. So I'll put it, say this is the, the, the shelf, I'll, I'll put it here and, you know, make sure that that my, my side of my cabinet that the the shelf is square to the side of my cabinet it's just a handy size uh i do have a 12 inch and i've got an 18 inch but i use this six inch probably the most out of any one of them and again this one has has your shoulder here so unlike no, normal squares that you set on your workpiece they kind of have a tendency to, to to move but with the shoulder it sits right on your workpiece like that so it's not gonna it's not gonna it's not going to twist and turn on you. It sits there perfectly. Get your line, uh, you know, when you're, when you're scrapping your line, you don't have to worry about this thing moving because of that shoulder right there. So if you're, you know, interested in getting a, a square, I recommend starting out with this little six inch woodpecker square. Um, I use it for every build that I do. Never fails. And then the last one is this P Pelani, Pelini pocket roll. And this is basically, <clears throat> I would consider it a, a marking gauge. So this, d these two knurled knobs, you loosen them up and you move this thing, you know, to whatever desired distance you want it at. You can take it off. You can put, you know, if you don't need it, you can put it back on. You can tighten it down in whatever distance you're trying to mark. It's just, it's, this size is perfect to throw in your front of your apron and your pocket but you can you know make it whatever distance you want here and then you've got a perfectly scribed line and it's got a little pencil notch i don't know if you guys can see that a little pencil notch on the end to where your lead fits in just perfectly right there and you get your little you, you know <clears throat> excuse me your lead in there <clears throat> wow sorry guys you get your lead in there get your pencil in there nice and tight and just works you know scribe your whole line up and down so it can't beat it 
Um, and it also does have on the end, it's got measurements. So if you're setting up, uh, say, uh, router bits on your table, or if you're making um, cuts on your table saw, you put this, you have to take this off. So it's, it's flush against your table, but you can measure once you get the, once you get that taken off, you can measure the height of your router bit or the height of your blade really easily using that scale. Trying to get it in focus for you guys there. So, so this one, you know, anytime I'm out here building something, this is always in my pocket, honestly. Um, I, and I, I use this along with the T-square probably more than any other thing. But these are these are fantastic. Um, the the newer models are actually a stainless steel blade, not this anodized uh, aluminum. You can still get this aluminum, but the newer model is, is stainless steel, a little bit thinner. Um, but you know it's same premise, exact same tool, just different material. But again, all of these woodpecker tools, guys. If, if you're into woodworking, if you know you just like precise measurements, quality. Uh, quality tools um, you can't go wrong with woodpeckers so if you guys have any questions about any other tool that you saw on the table before this please let me know and I'll be happy to go over them I just didn't want to make a 30 minute video because um, I could go on and on about woodpeckers how much I love them um, but again guys so there's my top five favorite woodpecker tools um, hope you guys found that informative and stay safe and take care